What's up, everybody? On this Monday morning, Can We Not Podcast, episode 39, with my two co hosts. We got who? We got a guy. And Kobe. Kenneth. It's Kenneth. No, no, co- <laughs> no, if you're not playing the. Can We Not Podcast? <laughs> Can We Not Podcast? <laughs> Can We Not Podcast? Hey. Can We Not Podcast? No, no, every time he tries to fit it in, it just feels more and more awkward. No, no, no. It works for every time. It works every time. Every day. If you say so. If you say so. If you say so. It works every single time. Tom is impeccable. But no, we in the building. We in the building. We back. We here. We here. (laughs) Back in and better than ever. Finally back in the studio. Yes, yes. We're back in the studio. studio. Back in the studio. Shout out to Jade. Shout out to Tone. Shout out to Sky's Crescent Radio. Shout out to Sea World Radio. Yes. So now for everybody who's been complaining on Spotify. (laughs) <laughs> we, we bike. We, we bike. <laughs> we, we bike. We bike. We bike. Exactly. We bike. Exactly. We're back in the building, guys. How are you, Kung Fu Kenny? I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Karate co-host. <laughs> I guess. With the Kung Fu grip. <laughs> Akaiko. A- Akai Akaiana. Akaiana. What the fuck? Nah, Bust down. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I thought it was a Keezy. No, nah, I change it up every week. We're going to find something that, that sticks. Big Red, it though. It captures fam. you. Can't do Big Red. That's on the snap. Damn. How was it this week? Getting any, like, any lewd? No, nah, it was it was kind of crazy. Crazy? It was kind of crazy. Some, Whoa. some people, you know, just kind of solicit for some certain things. I feel like I'm being fetishized, fam. <laughs> it's a little scary. It's lit? It No, it's not lit. I don't like that. No. Like you, don't, you don't have the time. That I have, man. It's just weird. <laughs> I just want help. Is <laughs> the party lamp? <laughs> help the Sorry, party our party lamp, lamp is um. <laughs> He's partied out. <laughs> He's partied out. He just got back from South by Southwest. Shout out to the YouTube viewership. <laughs> Shout out to Jay coming yes. back from the from. Yes. The- yeah, no, we, it was. It we was, finally have the whole crew back. We have exactly. the whole crew back we together. Have everybody back because first Jay left and Tone yes. was gone for a minute. Now he, we're all here. He just came back from um, L.A., right? Yeah, Tone's yeah, from L.A. What, what Jay he, came back from what did he Texas. Do extra in L.A. Was he? Um, He's hanging out, enjoying life. Oh, he was just hanging out. Yeah, I just couldn't oh. afford to be out there as long as him. <laughs> Vacation days didn't get approved. Well, listen, you're getting the bag though. Oh, actually, I am getting yes. the bag. Speaking of bags, shout out to Muslim bags, backpacks. Muslim bags? Muslims. Ba- oh. Muslims. M-U-Z-M. Oh. Well, shout out Muslim Muslims. bags, too. Muslim yeah. backpacks. Use Muslim coupon Muslim code backpack. Evan. Get 10% off. Get the strap. Yeah. Shout out book bags. Yo, trademark that. <laughs> get the strap. <laughs> get 10% off. Get Use the, the t- straps. Yup. And while you're at it, go to the Cut Buddy. If you cut your own hair, you do your own lineups. Oh. You cut your own facial hair. Get the oh, new Cut Buddy just- Plus. Get the Cut Buddy Plus and use coupon code Evan. This this, this podcast has been brought to you by the Cut Buddy. Use coupon code Evan. You get 10% off. Sponsored That's, by the Cut Buddy. That and is Evan. E V A N. Not Akai, not <laughs> Kenneth, and not Can We Not. Not C W N. Don't worry. We'll get, dope, we'll get our bags. <laughs> that been dope, though. We'll get our bags eventually. Don't but worry. I did we'll get, get new bags. stickers in the mail. So for anybody hey, who wants stickers, hit me up. You get some stickers. stickers. Yes. I think we should give away some stickers, right? Yeah. Did you yeah, get your stickers in the mail? I haven't gotten them yet. Check but I'm gonna email. check. I'm gonna check. check uh, no, they they confirm. said they were um on the way. So hopefully they get to my mailbox soon. And uh, as soon as they do, we let give it to the people. Exactly. We let it to the people. But that's enough catching up with us. Yes. yes. Well. Well. Well, Akai well. said it was kind of getting nasty out there in the streets. Hey, 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 listen. I, we'll get back to that. Then. We'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. What I about you, kid? If anything happened with you this week? Nope. You see any <laughs> movies? I was going. Shazam is I, out. I was okay. So. Like, peek behind the curtain. We record on Sunday. So yesterday was Saturday. I got out of work, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go I'm gonna go see Shazam. I wasn't going to go with nobody. I was like, you know what? I'm going to see this for myself. No distractions. Investigative enough. journalism. Taking it, taking initiative. I like Take this. Exactly. <laughs> Look at my car. I'm so proud. Lit. I need you to keep that same energy. Because when I got home, I, I fell asleep on my couch. Boo, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what happened. Like, I was sitting yeah. there. I was... I was like, I checked the movie times too. I had like two hours before the movie, so I was, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna chill and watch some TV, and then I'm gonna change, and then I'm gonna go. That was at one o'clock. I woke Motivation up seven master. hours. I woke up seven <laughs> hours later. You hear that, kids? <laughs> master motivator over here. Hustle. Just, ta- just take the Hustle. nap. Hustle. Just do it. Oh. <laughs> Hustle. Just, just do take it. The nap. Take just the nap. Take the nap. Take the nap. 
Wait, wait. So you, you know, it ended up being a a, a seven problem. a seven hour nap. I woke up like <laughs> woke up confused. That's so not a nap. seven hour That's nap. Not a nap. It's like a time it's travel. A <laughs> <laughs> Nigga went to sleep. So I took a nap. <laughs> then what sleep? <laughs> I went to sleep later that night too. It was like I just woke up on the couch well, like doubled I mean, up. Well, I'll, I'll be Double to neck. be fair. Even if you went to go see Shazam, it would have been the Shazam. same thing. Shazam, Shazam. Is that the one with Shaq? Yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Kazam. Kazam. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Shazam you guys heard about Kazam? that movie that Sinbad no. was apparently in? No, 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 no. I no. think this is a real thing. No. Like he was what? Sinbad. There's an internet rumor that sh- that it's not a rumor, uh, it's a real that thing. Sinbad the comedian starred in a movie where he was a genie named it's a Shazam. Real, it's a real thing. I believe it. There's it's, so many Jay conspiracies believes it. going around. Jay believes it's not a conspiracy. It's, it's a mad real conspiracies thing. going around. I refuse to talk about conspiracies. What, what, why why are you feel so? Because there's too many conspiracies going around. There's not enough information being spread. Exactly. Provable information. Okay. Let's focus on that, not the conspiracies. Yeah, Can we not true. podcast? <laughs> you heard it here first. You got it? You hear that conspiracy, yeah. people? <laughs> I don't fuck with the conspiracy population. Just how Aaron don't fuck with the popcorn population? Yo, hey, whoa, whoa, Aaron. <sighs> conspiracy culture? Chill. No, no, no. I ain't with nah, it. Nah, popcorn, kettle corn. Popeyes. Pop- we ain't with Shout out Popeyes. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, hey. Shout out Popeyes. Popeyes is lit. Don't do that. All right. I'm getting Popeyes after. <laughs> I'm getting Popeyes after. He's popping episode. off because of Popeyes. Yeah. Bust your guns for Popeyes. Put it in the comments section below, guys. Put it in the comments. Now, listen. <laughs> That's cool, motherfucker. Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. So you didn't see Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Shazam. Kazam. Nor Sponsored Shazam. by Popeyes. Did you jam? <laughs> On my couch. Do you, you guys do you guys get the jam when you go to Popeyes? Oh, for the biscuits? Hell yeah. Of course I do. Did I you see do. you didn't see Shazam? Did you at least read the reviews on it? I I read some I'm sick of you niggas. <laughs> I'm sick of you. Oh, I'm, sick. I'm so sick of this. You Listen, know. We gotta get the bag too, all right? All right, we gotta get a bag, all right? Popeyes is gonna be out here. It, it was just until like what twenty minutes ago that I learned that Popeyes has their own Instagram. You can't be sick of Popeyes. Are you sick of Popeyes? You trying to get Popeyes after this? No. If Shazam. I pay for it, what? if I pay for it, Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say so much. Listen. I'm gonna transform. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who would you want to look like if you could transform like Shazam? Like, look look like a different type of person if you could. It's mad gay. That's mad gay? <laughs> Michael B. I Jordan. Know what I'm <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. Take my pick. <laughs> photo shoot pics coming soon. Oh, L- LA photo shoots coming soon. Nah. Coming to a gram near oh, you oh, at okay. Evercombest. Hey, hey, okay, all right. Pics we'll... is coming soon. So, did you read the reviews? Yes, I heard. I, I read a lot of the reviews, but my... My my take on the movie is this, even though I haven't seen it. It's a really poor attempt by DC to try and stay relevant right before Endgame comes out later this month. What can you do? You can't do nothing to compete with that. <laughs> I mean, I, I am ready. I actually am. I'm actually I don't know. very I don't ready. know if I'm ready. I guess not. I don't know if I'm ready. Because, <laughs> first what? off, well, well, let's look at it this way. First off... Endgame is three hours and two minutes long. Let me long. tell y'all niggas, when this fucking movie drop. Wait, I, who has opening day tickets? I'm going to get opening day tickets. I know you you got them already. You sent it to the chat. I, 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 I didn't would, even know it was coming I would, out Thursday. I, I'm, I'm honest, not playing with these I niggas. honestly would go with you. That's literally in the middle of my day. It is? Yes. That's in the that Damn. time that time you put, that 630 showing, I would not be able to make that. Call out, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you letting some, something is like... Frivolous has fucking work. Here he go, here he go with his ven- no, as vocabulary. O- you letting something Vocab- as small as occupation get in the way <laughs> of job. the formulation? <laughs> How am I supposed to pay for the ticket if I ain't got a job? <laughs> we, that's why we get the Popeyes bag. Like we I, don't have to work. He, he say that like I won't send the IRS to like his whole fucking his job, chill, his job chill, site, and I shut chill, that old man. shit down. Chill. Please get don't. the day off. <laughs> Please Joe, don't. Get the week off. <laughs> Please get don't. Get the year off. <laughs> I get the rest of my you life. You take the whole year off. Go ahead. You, you'll find other work. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> Come on, man. You can fight. Just go fight some bums outside. Go, you can fight Thanos. You could. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir. Did, sir. 
Thanos gave Hulk the three piece. In that yo, first movie. yo, he was lumping him up though. I'm not even gonna lie. I went, in that first instance, in that first sequence, I was just like, damn, this is what we, we this is the energy we're moving into this movie with. Exactly. <laughs> it's like okay, nigga, Hulk versus Thor. Ten seconds later, it was. <laughs> You mean Hulk versus Thanos? Whatever. And Thor, too. That's all how... them niggas getting them. They all get in the hands. And I can't wait. I mean, they all I got the snap. That's what I cannot wait. Oh, man. That I was... can't fucking wait. That's the Snapchat you, you don't yeah. want. That's the premium snap you don't want. That's, That's yeah. a premium snap. That's the only premium snap you never want to get. <laughs> Shit. No, nah, I'm going I'm to try, try and see it. Probably not opening, probably not opening day. But probably that Saturday, even though I saw there was mad showings at like 4 a.m., which means you getting out that theater as sep- in the morning. No, nah, that's what sep- you got. Actually, I would do that. I'm you not don't got lie. opening day tickets first show when you a peasant. Chill. Don't talk to me. Chill. I Chill. guess I got to go then. Yeah, take off, man. Just take off. We, we no, ride I mean, out. No, the whole crew goes out. <laughs> it's your boy Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> Coming through to fuck some niggas up. You heard you remix. ain't got no opening day tickets? That's the Wakanda remix. If you ain't got your opening day tickets to Endgame, I'm about to tell you you a bitch-ass nigga. And I'm going to tell you what me and Thanos about to do. Get these niggas out the building with the... Get your niggas all out my movie. Hey, Get your tickets right now. This Sunday, this Sunday. Come on down. You should call be selling them at the booty spot. woo Booty spot. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sure. Yo, have y'all been seeing those memes on like online about like uh, Infinity? Well, not Infinity War, Endgame. Like how how Ant- it's gonna end? Like how Ant Man should gonna just save like- the day. <laughs> gonna get all up in that ass. <laughs> Literally. Why? Why he gotta get in the ass? Why can't he just go up like that? His mouth. His nostril. <laughs> well, or in his ear. Because you can fight with a broken nose. <laughs> yeah, you can. If you can, then you pussy. It's a fact. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> that no. is wild. That Look nah. at this meme, y'all, on the YouTube. <laughs> nah. Look at this meme. Go to the YouTube. Or just splash That's that insane. shit on the Don't even splash. <laughs> Bust it open for a real Titan. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, so I'm gonna see that what? shit opening day. Uh, ew. Yo, man. <laughs> opening day! <laughs> opening day! <laughs> That's why he's seeing the opening day? Yo. That's why he's going. That's yeah, why he's going. Yeah, your camera turned off. <laughs> the light went off. I can tell it went off. That's insane. <laughs> Yo. All right, so what's the first topic on the uh, docket? That was man? the first topic. <laughs> was it? Thank God. I was just so seeing sh- what y'all saw. <laughs> so, so, so show's over? Yeah. <laughs> Chill. That's it. It's, we done. Right. We so, done. Episode 39 wrapped up. All if right. you didn't see the movie, you a fucking peasant, and Thanos should have got rid of your fucking ass. Don't talk to me. And if anything, stay off the internet. Because come that Friday, the twenty no, that, that Thursday, the 25th, when I yeah. see that movie, 9, 9 p.m., 9.30, whenever that movie's over, when I walk out that theater, finish crying, my eyeballs out. You be done by like 9.45-ish. 10 p.m. Yeah. Spoiling? April 25th. If you niggas haven't seen the movie, stay off the fucking internet. Because I'm coming out the gate telling everybody what happened. Dick hard as hell. <laughs> Ant hard as hell. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Paul Rudd. His birthday's 50 years old. Hey, Paul Damn. Rudd. Wait, 50? See, that, nobody believes it. Oh, wow. That's insane. Yeah, Paul Rudd is 50 years old. Oh, wow, that's great. Paul Rudd from Mad About You. No, Paul Rudd from Mad About You is not 50 years old, Tom. You and your random facts. Yo. Oh, shout man, out to Tom. No, the other day. I, I used to watch I, that show. It was actually a pretty good the show. The other day, fucking Tom came up to me yesterday to talk about. I was like, we t- we's doing a um a skit. Shout out to Rodney um Bridey. Um, we were shooting a skit, and then like while he's getting the camera on me, I'm like, I'm ready for my close up, Mister Deville. He's like, you know, that's not the actual line. It's a misconception. It's a misquoted line. The actual line is, I'm ready for my no, Mister Demille. I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> we shortly went outside and threw hands. <laughs> <laughs> Shortly after, me and Tone threw hands. Who I won? got the best of them. <laughs> you okay? As he's here. He's like, <laughs> okay. Okay. Turn yeah. my camera off. See? Is that why he was wearing the sunglasses? Come on, man. You don't do that to Tone. Yo, we going to get canceled. We keep making fun of abuse. <laughs> oh, my God. Fam. Fam. Wow, damn it. Yo, we're just... Fam. Yo, um, the Joker trailer. There you go. I Jeez. did not I did not see it. <laughs> 
I didn't see the nice trailer. Segue. No. Are you one of those people who don't watch trailers because you think it'll give you a better experience in the movies? I did. I did that for um two movies. I did that for what's I I remember I did that for Logan, Dead. and I really and I really enjoyed Logan. You would have enjoyed it anyway. No, I mean spoiler like, alert: you can watch trailers and still enjoy a movie. But I, oh yeah, true. I I I remember like before I before Logan had come out, I had read a study like oh if you if you like keep yourself away from the trailers, you can enjoy the movie better because. But how would see? I hear what you're saying with that that, that study. But here's my thing: how would somebody who never seen the trailers know that they had a better experience if they saw it or not? Because like certain scenes wouldn't be spoiled. But you don't know the trailer. <laughs> I <laughs> no like uh, what was it? See, um, look at him the, scrambling like he wrote the like he wrote the theory, <laughs> like he wrote the study. You didn't write the study. You don't got to defend it. It's not your study. But I'm following the study. I liked it. Test rat. <laughs> I'm a lab rat. Great, great. That's the title. No. But Shout okay, out so you didn't see the Joker trailer? Did no, you no. see the Joker trailer? Nah. You said it in the chat, but. You did? I was about to, but I was like... I did. I don't know. Yeah, he did. He said it in the chat. But... <laughs> Y'all found a secret. <laughs> to uprising the black community. Nah, I've been joke. always on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read and elevate my mind level. I mean... <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's yes. not wrong. I'm sending the secrets to the group chat on Instagram. The secrets are in books. Anybody can write a book. Yeah. That means they can write anything. Yeah, they can. <laughs> books can lie. Books can lie, yeah, of course. You want to fight me on the knowledge I know from the books <laughs> yeah, that I read? Y'all want to y'all y'all step, <laughs> step out quickly? You want to throw books, nigga? You want to throw pages? <laughs> Cover you up, nigga. What's good? <laughs> Turn you to a bookmark. Turn to a memoir, nigga. Yo, imagine a librarian just rolls up on you. You want to be turned into a bookmark? Son, you ever had a fight in the library? But you got to still be quiet, so you got to try to be respectful? Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, Kenneth, what? Kenneth, what have you done in the library? Why we got to do this? What happened in the library? Why we got to do this? Yo, He's been fighting it? in the library. No, really? I haven't. What happened? <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah, he got into a fight. He got into a physical altercation. Oh, my. He got into a physical altercation <laughs> no, in the library? I did not. <laughs> what type of altercation? I don't know why then this what is happened? the topic. <laughs> why? Does... My camera's Okay, what's the wildest place? <laughs> what, what's the wildest place what? For the listeners. What's the wildest place you've read a book? The beach, nice. <laughs> it's on the train. I, I read a book on the. Tra- I read no. The wildest place I ever read a book was at work, because I got mad at customers from <laughs> trying to come to me with these. Set. I'm trying to read Just what job book in front yeah. of the customer. <laughs> what job? I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> Because that your, makes it worse. It's not your if y'all know where I've been employed, is, is there a job? Exactly. That's Wait a minute. Is I'm, there a job you guys regret? No. Nah. There's no job you, you guys regret. Not at all. I mean, I've employed a couple of women to give me blowjobs, and I've regretted it. Is this the Howard Stern show now? <laughs> like, what is yo, fam? Yo, there's kids that watch the show. What did bro. Kenneth do in the library? Nothing. He checked out a lot of books. Is this is is this true, King? I do read a lot. <laughs> he does read a lot. He actually does. Did y'all see the Alfred trailer? Alfred? No. They're making an Alfred did TV show. Did you send show. that to the chat, too? Yes, I did. I guess what I, guess what yeah, I didn't I see like. that in the chat. This nigga nah, didn't see nothing I in the feel like chat. you didn't send that. I did. I didn't even see that. I did send the Alfred check, trailer. Check, check the chat now. Probably just while, sent while he explains probably just tra- now sent it. Send it again. <laughs> don't send don't send do that. You don't, you don't get to do that. Nah, send chill. It, send it twice. <laughs> Before, no, but it's like a TV show of Alfred. Oh, it's I ain't like gonna when watch he that met, shit. Um, when he met Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's father, mm-hmm. and like the the adventures and like him kind of like being a spy or something like that. Oh. So it's kind of like Agents of Shield, but with Alfred. They make movies about everything about Batman except Batman. I mean, them niggas is scared. <laughs> they can't do a good Batman movie anymore. because the fucking Endgame is coming out, putting an end to anything DC puts out there. They oh, yeah, thought fucking Shazam was gonna put a fucking uh, uh, anything, a footprint to yo, what Endgame's going to do. Yo, imagine it's the biggest Endg- movie on earth. <laughs> imagine Shazam just walks away with an Oscar out of nowhere, <laughs> like <laughs> fucking Zachary <laughs> Levi. <laughs> The nigga from Chuck. Oh my god! Yo, imagine, imagine Chuck gets an that's Oscar. The, that's him. You gonna yeah. take his oh, to the whole time mm-hmm. road? Yo, Mike, just oh come on, man. What? We ain't had to do that. Shout out, Kevin Hart Netflix special. Jesus, 
Kevin Hart see had it? a Netflix special? Yes. Did anybody see it? Came out I, April 2nd. I, I Obviously, did. from that that reaction from me, you, you, you can tell. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> can we What's the name of it? <laughs> uh, irresponsible. Yeah. He's been on tour for like the past year and a half. That sounds a little and irresponsible. He didn't do any promo. I didn't hear about it. <laughs> Because you're not on the internet. You're in a book. You can't promo in books. Yo, when that <laughs> happens. You get a attention. Throw the promo <laughs> in the front pages. In the memo. Hey, why are you making fun of me for reading books? <laughs> this is what's holding back the black community. Because you don't know what's going on in the Recipe world. Snipsy. Pick your head up. Recipe Snipsy. Pick your head up sometime. Take your head out of the books? <laughs> yeah. You dummy. <laughs> you big dummy. Why are you sitting there reading? The whole world's passing you by. Yeah. Shout out Popeyes. No. <laughs> Shout out Barnes and Nobles. Fact. Do they have an IG? I don't know any nigga named Barnes or Nobles. Actually, Who yeah. Are they? What, how Who did they are get they? that name? How the hell did they get that name? Zachary Levi. <laughs> Shout out Zachary Levi. Shout the Kevin Hart. Levi. The Kevin Hart special. <laughs> That's how we're being right now. Irresponsible about exactly. this entire thing. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> It's a read from Tone. No, it's not. Yes, it, it is. is. It, That's it a read from Tone. Is. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Anyway. <laughs> Kevin Hart. It's Kevin Hart. <laughs> it's irresponsible. On the Disney it, Channel. It's, what, it's irresponsible is what it is. <laughs> so, Ken, if you saw it. Yes, I did. Give the listeners an in-depth review on the Kevin Hart special. So, Spoiler alert. <laughs> basically. So, the, the special took place in um, Manchester, United Kingdom. So, yeah, it was in London. That's yeah. We filmed it at. Wow! Yeah, so I think yeah, no promo. That's no that's free why, promo because you weren't you weren't over there. He promoted over there in London. That's messed up. He didn't. Yeah, they they put it in the London book. You didn't get it. Ah, British Times. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. You didn't get that one. Gotcha. You didn't get that copy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> quaint. <laughs> anyway. What? Spoiler alert. So, uh, I th- I feel like the special would have been better if it wasn't filmed there, or if the crowd was a little more interactive. Because like the crowd didn't seem to really react to a lot of his jokes. Like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm really I'm honestly serious. Anyone anyone else who has seen this anyone else who has seen this special, like they weren't really laughing at his jokes. His jokes were funny. I was laughing at a good amount of his, a good, at a good amount of his jokes. But like the <laughs> actually yeah, like they they had spent the battery to like like uh, the sound effects with the. With the rest of the crowd, it probably would have, it probably would have been a bit funnier to me. Like, um, only like really three or four jokes really stood out to me. Like his biggest joke was like him talking about like how he has like guns hidden around his house because he's been like uh, robbed before. So he's talking about how he has like a gun like in his bathroom. He was like, "Wait, wait, oh, you gonna do me like this? Let me just wipe my ass one last time." Pulls out a gun out of nowhere, <laughs> shit like that. So it's like. <laughs> So, <laughs> you gonna do me like this? <laughs> there you go, or like, um, or like, oh, you go, oh, you gonna shoot me right here, right where, I, right where I masturbate in the living room. <laughs> Let me just close porn up one last time. <laughs> when I heard that joke, I was like, that sounds like something Evan would say. <laughs> yeah. So you now y'all coming at me from <laughs> Don't say nah, coming. We ain't, nah, don't say nah. coming at you. <laughs> now y'all want to come at me. Come oh. on, man. You know so. it's funny cuz I wrote something about <clears throat> about that in my phone. Where is it at? Uh you keep talking while I look this up. <laughs> so like like the sp- the special it it was funny, but it wasn't like I wouldn't like put it any put it over any of his other specials. I wouldn't put it over uh what now or or anything like anything like that. Like like to me, his like to me, some of his other some of some of his other specials like really rang like funny to me. <laughs> you can tell I don't jerk up, to, and you see the women I'm following it on. <laughs> what? Really, Kenneth? <laughs> That's, That's what you're doing out here? <laughs> when the when the video comes out, they know it's not. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> But you said it. I read it off your your bars. You didn't read nothing. That's your bars, man. You didn't read no books in (laughs) it. Y'all the book niggas. Book niggas. (laughs) Hashtag book niggas. Book them, Dano. (laughs) Open and shut case. Oh, Oh. shit. Yeah, but y'all can tell I don't. Y'all see how many. Like, come on. (laughs) I'm I'm not touching myself out here anymore. 
It's over for that. Too old for that. <laughs> it's too old for that. It's too old I mean, for that. Is there a cutoff point? What do you mean, at you think, age or You think, in, you think in there's a cutoff point? Like, if, I, if I'm just doing it for too long, it's just like, all right. <laughs> I have worked myself dry. Three hours. I'm chafing. Three hours later. <laughs> I am chafing. Nah. It just won't get up. <laughs> Just put it back in my pants. All the lotion. I the apologize world, to all the listeners and viewers. Why? This, this. Give us some compelling content. I don't know. This yeah, some compelling? some of some of our viewers, <laughs> some of our viewers and listeners might might enjoy that side of Evan. You got viewer questions? No, he does I don't. Best. <laughs> I do not. Okay. <laughs> the, the viewer question is: Why the fuck am I still listening? To Shout out shit? to viewer questions. I mean, <laughs> for all <laughs> the DMs that Kai be getting throughout the week. You figure he me out here in his little nasty, in his big red bag. Listen, I, I'm Santa Claus right now, you know, because all these ho ho hoes, nigga. Ah, no, that's not true. It's it's honestly not true. It's terrible. Um, catch me in my audition at the Comic Strip Live. It's gonna be 5 p.m. Wednesday. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be doing better than everyone else that didn't get passed. Nigga, we want to hear what's going on in your DMs, bro. Do you want to know? Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? Because even the people in my DMs don't know what's going on, apparently. Yeah, I'm just like, why is this does happening? She, does she follow the podcast? Is she a fan? Nah. <laughs> Chill. That's crazy. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Yo, they, shout out J-Bell Bell. Keep, they keep hearing about Big Red. They want to see it. <laughs> Tone knows. Tone knows about J-Bell Bell. This woman has been trifling and following the both of us soliciting so much and i'm like nah don't do this don't do this have you guys ever gotten like some random like just spam account just hit you up and be like you're yes i wasn't a spam that was a real woman that was a real woman hitting you up no yeah, yeah. I, maybe I, I, like the third or second time all these women just hit up a cop throughout the week because he talks so much about his premium snap they want to see what's up no 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 and a cop be hitting them back like no 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 <laughs> This man got no but respect for each other. We ain't never pulling no train. We ain't no motherfucking freaks. We some family men. We getting it paper. It's that jitty gate. <laughs> Y'all some family men, man. man. Like, come on. Why they sitting there doing that to me? This joke has gone too far, Evan. <laughs> you started You started it. That's he started this damn joke. I ain't never read no book on that. <laughs> Can't read a book on premium snaps. It's just something he born into. Three ninety nine adopted the premium. Three ninety nine a snap. I was born into it. Molded exactly. by it. Molded. <laughs> they ain't making that Batman movie, man. No, a, no matter what how about much the you Alfred, push the <laughs> Alfred show. I'm, I'm not, not watching. watching it. I'm not watching that. Damn. Well, Wait, I mean, what channel is it supposed to be on anyway? It's on. Uh, I think Hulu. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's on Hulu. I believe so. Oh, if it's on Hulu, I mean, I actually, might check you know, it out. You know, out of a, you know what's a great thing? I just saw that was on Hulu. I think I just I only just started. Um, the act about um, I've heard about this. Uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard. I don't know who that is. Uh, she uh she's in jail because her mom, when she was like growing up, had Munchausen syndrome, and like like forced her to like pretend that she was like like disabled and had all these diseases and was younger than what she actually was and all that and then she um she ended up getting a boyfriend and her and the boyfriend like allegedly conspired to murder the mom because of all this fucked up shit that the mom was doing to her so now that there's a i believe it's a show i think yeah it's a show on hulu called the act Mm. yes act now yeah watch the show guys check it out yeah like like i i remember seeing the i saw the trailer for that and i was like what the fuck like this can't be real and then i and then i looked into it and then it's a act it's based on an actually true story Damn. and it was like it's ridiculous like like what that what that girl went through i don't i don't agree with like murdering your mom <laughs> jesus <laughs> that's knows. the segue i want to know what's up <laughs> He's no. telling us what's up. It's not what's up. It's the you what's up segment with Kenny. It's you the were... what's up segment with Kenny. No, we gotta do that with something lighthearted, man. That's wild. <laughs> you can't say shit. <laughs> you see how he springs the shit on us? <laughs> we gotta <laughs> keep talking though. Keep <laughs> talking. <laughs> <laughs> they're, gonna, they're, gonna take, they're gonna take down the video because <laughs> <laughs> so so. No, nah, like I don't agree with murdering your mom, but I do. I do understand her trying to find justice for herself, like trying. Like I can't talk with this. <laughs> this That's what's up. That's what's up. Go. 
And that's what's up with Ken. I'm taking your phone away. <laughs> Keep this shit over here. <laughs> Jeez. God. Oh, my God. Next topic, please. That's my phone. <laughs> right here. I'm crying. This- Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> He's actually crying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Like it's just like last week. too much. Two it's weeks in a row. Too much. Crying. This is the second you time. You think it's too it. much? <laughs> Y'all be wilding. We're wild. What did we do? Nah, next That's next week up. I'm gonna just roll up with a book. Then you know what's up. Keep that thing on me. <laughs> Keep that thing on me. Keep that knowledge on me. <laughs> knowledge is power. Group economics. <laughs> <laughs> now that Evan is done crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Hold on. Oh damn. I know exactly how to oh. What is up with me niggas? It's me. That's right. Drop away your mama. With your host, Jimmy Schmitz. Come back in there, bitch. What's up, Jimmy? What's good, y'all? <laughs> Just came back from LA. You were in LA too? You was West Coast Wildland? Yeah. <laughs> I had to visit. You Pay try, my respects. You try in an L burger? Oh, oh yeah, disgusting. <laughs> ah, t- Patui. <laughs> Patui. <laughs> How you spell that? I want to put that in the title. P-A-T-O-O-I-E. <laughs> it's the title of the episode. Patui. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Go ahead, Jimmy. Get your shit off, Jimmy. <laughs> What's the news? What is that news? Oh, shit. Local me. boy sells video games and his other does other little business ventures to buy his mother a car. Let me give the full story as I pull Wait, it up. an actual an actual car? Yeah. That sells his Xbox. All right. <clears throat> how much money did he get for the Xbox? Damn. How much is this car? 13-year-old William Rabillo has <laughs> his mother, Crystal Preston, told Fox that she was in complete shock when her son gave her a gift greater than she could ever expect. In a heartwarming story on Facebook, Crystal revealed that her son bought her a car. I have no words right now that can express how I am feeling in the moment, she wrote. The last couple weeks have literally been hell filled with so many tears, anger, confusion, and heartache. Today, I got the shock of my life. Crystal says she knew William had picked up a few gigs mowing lawn and cleaning yards, but was under the impression he was saving up for a new video game. But he sold his Xbox and did extra work around the neighborhood and bought his mother a car. How much was the car? It looked like a white beat up Toyota. So he probably got this for maybe like less than three grand. Damn. I mean, Dude three, was working three out grand? Here. Mom Dude, couldn't just sell no pussy hustling. to get that? <laughs> She, what? She, That's she, what I heard people saying that on Twitter. I'm just telling you what I heard on Twitter. Not for nothing. Nah, she could have. That she was your sold. Twitter. No, <laughs> that no. had to be your Twitter. Nah. Now, 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 we got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Nah. I'm out here with the premium staff. This dude out here with a freaking crazy Twitter. Nah. That's funny. Wild it out here. I ain't heard. Yeah, yeah. Nobody on Twitter tweeting that. Ladies and gentlemen, she could have just sold mad pictures of her feet. For like, Ew, wait, what? There's niggas. women out here doing this. Yeah. What? Yeah, and you out here on premium snap giving it all up. Nah, nah, <laughs> that three ninety nine plan is great. Could have got some feet pics out. That's disgusting. Been, I, if if anybody on, wants to know, I hate them feet. With the sand no, <laughs> that's disgusting. Dip, dip your big toe in some sand. Is that like know? the thong of the the feet world? Like Could sandals? Because that's Kenneth disgusting. Kenneth seems to be our foot expert. What's up? Yeah. What are you talking about? You brought it up. <laughs> you got to keep us on our toes, Kenneth. <laughs> keep us on for our the toes. Listeners. Is that is that what you're using for your audition at the strip? Hell no, man. I got some more strip shit. Five oh, p.m. For your, for your snap Wednesday. See me. I will be here. Here? Yes. Because I'm going to star here and then I'm going to go to the strip after. Did any of y'all but. see the news about the Leaving Neverland director coming out and saying that the dates that they were given in the documentary were wrong? Yeah, they Get didn't the fuck out of here. Yeah. That he Get the fuck that up. It's, it's crazy. And you, just, and you just saw it. I recently. just yeah. watched that and I'm like, wait, wh- which one was it? A bunch of false uh, information? J- James Safechuck said uh, something that like mother- s- A some name his- like Safechuck sounds fake as fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Safechuck? Fake as fuck. Safechuck? Hey, and this is Danny was lying. What you want me to do? Uh, wait, look how what, quick he get mad at. But wait, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> stop! You need to stop. You, you need first to stop. off, first off, stop this, man. First off, if anybody knows me in the history of history, 
I get mad at lions. <laughs> I definitely get mad at lions. I think everybody does. Oh yeah. I don't think anybody. But I, I, I think love I, being lied to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, lie to me. Didn't they make a show like that? Yes. Anyway, did, he was just lying about the dates. Yes. Some of his, so the dates, just, the dates that he was saying like didn't add up because of some something how he was saying he was staying at Neverland at like during cer- certain years, but then Neverland wasn't actually like built until after he said he was there. Neverland wasn't built. Or? The, the ranch, yeah. It wasn't open. Wasn't it like a a, a train thing or something like that? The uh, some kind of I don't, like I don't know station the, thing? I don't know the exact details of what what Evan was referring to. I just remember reading that. Uh, James Safechuck was like, "Oh, I was at, uh, for like for example, oh, I, I was at Neverland Ranch in like '94, but it wasn't open till like '96." Mm. It's crazy. Mm. That it, it's just crazy because I'm like, you know, you watch the whole thing, and I'm like sitting there like, this is this bananas. Is this is wild. Like, yeah. mm. I feel bad saying this, but where was Bubbles when all this was going down? My nigga, I'm glad you said this. Because I'm a little, I'm still concerned about that. Because it's like you don't have a whole monkey, and that monkey has what is what did he see? What did he see? Evan, (laughs) you're a criminal and you're a monster, and you need to be stopped. Don't take the soundboard from him. Take everything. He has too much power. He has too much. Don't, don't, don't find your button. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> That's how he takes the whole episode down. It's like, nah, I don't want to. <laughs> get it all down. Um, a couple of 80 that was married for 82 years, they said the key to marriage is being nice to each other. What do you guys think about that? Sounds about right. Yeah. That's all you got to do. We're, we're all single, right? Yeah. Yes. So fuck we know. <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. You what weren't we nice know? in your relationships? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. I guess not. We out here being too nice. Too nice. Yeah. That's a thing? Too nice? Yes. Nah. What, what if, would you definitely nah, we would just if be too dumb. That's what we were. If you're being, like, you can consider yourself being too nice when, like, your significant other can take advantage of that kindness from you. Mm. That's what I mean. Like, they they see, like, how like how kind-hearted you are, how generous you are, and just take advantage of that. Like, you, you're giving them an inch, and then they're taking that for miles and miles and miles, you know? And then... Like afterwards, when they when they feel like they've gotten all that they can from you, that's when they leave you like high and dry. That always seemed the opposite for me, only because it seemed like when I was too nice, mm-hmm. it just seemed like whoa, where's all this coming from? Right. Why are you being nice? They were overwhelmed by your by your that generosity. and then that and then sometimes it just seemed like I, I guess that optimism seemed like it was just like not the the best thing to to use in that moment. Because it's like, you know, I guess sometimes you need to be real and, and try and have a different lens on certain things. So it was just kind of like, oh, okay. But, I mean, I guess I learned from that where it was just like, okay, this is what you need me to be in this moment. I mean, just being optimistic doesn't help all the time, even though that's how I am as a person because shit. Because he's not optimistic. <laughs> Apparently, but Shit um, yeah. But sometimes you have to be optimistic, and other times you have to be realistic. Yeah, but even though that was the case for that person, that's what worked for that person. I know for me, just going through all the tough times I've been through, especially in my early life, that's what got me through and got a lot of the people around me through. Because yeah. you know, like I wouldn't amass any of what I have today if I wasn't optimistic. Like you know, you can get through the storm. It's just, you know, having just humanity. Yeah. Having humanity being like you, like, you know, that kind hearted person, it can get you through. It can get you far. It's just a matter of who you do it with and whom you surround yourself with to, to be able to get that. So I, I think that makes sense and stands, you know, the test of time with that couple it really does. Because 82 years, that's a long ass time. Yeah. I mean, 82 How old years are they? ago. How old are they? <laughs> that, see, that's what I'm getting to. You got to do some math now. Mm-hmm. Things ain't adding up. I was married 82 years. Mm-hmm. Come on now. They 100? So, also, yeah, back 1930. then. 1930. Come on. Back then, what was really going on? Um, the um, Great Depression. You can't leave. The Great Depression. <laughs> yeah. I mean, World in War relationships. I. World War II, I think. In relationships. Yeah, relationships. You couldn't leave. 
Because war, the world was at war. Oh, yeah. Very true. That, yeah, it's true. <laughs> He's like, what you going to do? Leave me, God? It's bombing outside. What you Hosing niggas down the street. You going you gonna to leave me, Betty, yeah, for a little it, cheating? For, <laughs> for a little cheat cheat? What you gonna do? It was only Dolores. Exactly. I mean, you got to be it nothing was only back, nice back then. Exactly. And Eleanor. They've been through a lot, though. I mean, if, if you and look Agatha. at it. Yep. Yep. You think a little cheat cheat is going to get in the way of them? Edith. Mm-hmm. Agnes and then just throwing that ass for seven cents. Breaking news! Breaking news! I am back with breaking news. What's breaking? What's this news that's breaking? Future and Elton John have left the studio together, and now now have been photographed. Oh shit! What are we expecting? What a time to be alive too. <laughs> no. No, Rocket. Drake and the Rocket Man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, nah, Drake Rocket and Future. <laughs> Rocket Future. Oh my goodness. No, nah, Future and um Drake went <laughs> in the uh in the studio recently. Dirty Rocket 2. Dirty Rocket 2. Oh, Dirty Jesus. Rockets. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There's yep. Your <laughs> We're not a music podcast. <laughs> yep. And now we, you know we why. Know why. Yep. <laughs> For yeah. damn sure we know why. Now yep. you know why. Um, the shy is coming out the yes. day that we're recording this. Yes. Oh shit! Tonight. Yes. Yeah. Oh let's. yes, it is back. Yes. Season two. I don't know if it's on demand where we can watch it earlier in the day, but we're recording at an earlier time on a Sunday, so I didn't have time to check. But definitely, we'll be checking that out, and we'll yes. be talking about that in future episodes. Doing yes. reviews the same way how we used to do with power and insecure. They say this is a big rich town. I don't have a song for the shy yet. Yeah. I don't think there is a song for the shy. I don't no, think I'm there a, is. I'm going to make one. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to find You're going to hit the studio. You can book me for a session. <laughs> Get it? Book. <laughs> this guy's good. <laughs> this guy's good. Hey. This guy's good. This guy's good. He's That's good. why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Popeyes. <laughs> is there anything else that you think is want to talk about? The $5 box. Yo, did you see what happened at um, the WWE Hall of Fame? Like, oh, when the nigga ran up on Bret Hart? Yo. Gave him a heart attack? Ins- yeah, that was insane. Yeah. Oh, geez. A fan, a fan jumped out of the crowd because for the first time for in a long time, the WWE did their Hall of Fame thing in, inside the actual ring. And a fan jumped the barrier and ran and tackled Bret Hart down to the ground. And then, like, a bunch of security and actual WWE wrestlers came and jumped that nigga to drag him out the ring. And uh, former UFC fighter Travis Brown, uh, Ronda Rousey's husband, was decking that nigga as hard as he just He came in the ring, and then all of a sudden he heard was... Oh, my God! It's security! It's security! They're fucking the fan up! My God almighty, they're breaking his neck! They're beating his ass! He's getting his two-piece on! <laughs> they gave him the three-piece. Oh, t- no, he took down Bret Hart while he was wearing the three-piece. Mm-hmm. That was rude as fuck. <laughs> and they gave him the fucking three-piece. <laughs> <laughs> With a drink. Yep. With a drink. Yep. That's Be- insane. Show it on the nigga. side. But I did see that. That was yeah. wild. That that was insane. Because, like, Bret Hart's only, like... He like, survived the stroke. Yeah. That's why... Yeah, that's why he was he's gone a, for so yeah, long. He's a stroke survivor. Mm. So, so, he's... Yeah, that's just wild that you can't even have a Hall of Fame for wrestling anymore. Exactly. People take it too real. Because it wasn't even him that was going in the Hall of Fame. It was um. He wasn't even going in. No, it was for um Jim Jim the Anvil Nyhart. So Bret Hart's former tag team partner, the big dude with the with the goatee, he passed away I think late last year with a heart attack. Whoa. Ironically, there's a lot going on with wrestlers and passing away. John yeah. Oliver did a whole story on it. That should like hurt my heart. Yo, I saw that. Yeah, that should yeah. hurt my heart. Oh, wow. Yeah, about how wrestlers are treated in the WWE and how yeah. Vince McMahon is like the even though he's like he's written himself as an evil person, he's actually the same way in real life. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. he was like doing a documentary and somebody had asked him, yeah. like, Hey man, like, you know, a lot of wrestlers like, they seem to like not be living long and like what do you think the reason of that? Do you think like that anything with like wrestling, what they do in the in like in the ring has anything to do with it? He's like, I don't know. Why don't you ask yourself that question? Like, yeah. 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 He was being a real dick. And then, yeah. he, like, he smacked the papers out the nigga's hand. Like, you would have thought, like, like they was about to wrestle. Yeah. You would have thought it was about to go down. Hmm. Like, you really would have thought that niggas was about to go out, come out and just, come on, play the music. Come on. Don't make me look stupid, phone. Come on, phone. There you go. <laughs> I thought you were going to play Vince McMahon's theme. I don't know it. <laughs> All you have to type in is Vince McMahon. 
I'm on it. This one. Talk. (laughs) (laughs) No, but it 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 is a it is a thing. Like a lot of a lot of people have come out, like former WWE employees, like wrestlers and referees have come out and said, like, "Yo, Vince is like kind of running that company into the ground." Like Jr. don't work there no more. Jr. He's like, JR don't work there no more. JR don't work there no more because he said that Vince is so focused on instead of like building good storylines and like promoting good talent, he just wants the biggest, like strongest niggas <laughs> working there. Like, like the big, the bigger the wrestler to him, the the more popular he's gonna like Push try him. and make him. Yeah, like Roman Reigns, like Triple H, like like he's got like he wants like to be like Triple H basically, which is insane. So you can stop the song. <laughs> No. <laughs> Why? The beat just dropped. <laughs> the beat dropped. The beat dropped. It's like with white people. <laughs> the beat drop. Oh, y'all not feeling the? No. <laughs> y'all not feeling the alternative rock vibe? Not that song. <laughs> no shit. No. There's no chance I like that song. <laughs> what? I remember that song. I do too. I, I the only thing I really remember about wrestling for me or mine was um SmackDown. With nice. the big fist coming out the thing, yeah, yeah. I watched that. Um, was it when did it come out? Every Sunday or something like that? Uh, oh, Thursdays. Oh, Thursdays on yeah. UPN. Yes. Y'all don't remember UPN though? I, remember. I do remember UPN. All of us, one on one. Gary and Mike. They had the best primetime lineup. And then in two thousand and like three. And then they yeah. canceled it. Yep. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, it's a my nine. Yeah. Trash. Exactly. You, you remember what they called UPN? No. Underpaid niggas. <laughs> you what? Wait, I've never heard Oh, that, that must have just been everybody in Far Rock. Then. <laughs> I've never heard it's some, that. Somebody, I remember just, I was in school, and this is what they decided to say. You Yo, Far stand Rock for. niggas in their <laughs> slang? It's crazy. crazy. <laughs> Can you enlighten us and the listeners on the new slang you heard today? Oh, yeah. So, we have a street in Far Rockaway. It's, called, it's 60th Street. That's all we name our streets just by numbers because we don't know no better. And 60th Street is apparently notorious for just being really shitty. And a student decided to enlighten me and say, Yo, Mr. Rams, you being mad 60s right now. What? <laughs> and then unfortunately, it clicked in my head because I live in Far Rock. So apparently, that's the wave now. We just going to call Far Rock shit. Damn. That's what's hot in the streets. It's terrible. Don't don't air horn that. Yo, no, shout out that pipeline time. that's coming to Far Rockaway. Yo, we gotta do something, please. I'm just it's bad timing. <laughs> yes, hey, help my peninsula, please. <laughs> bad timing on all the sound effects today. Basically, horrible timing. <laughs> horrible please timing. Find, please don't find any more wrestlers' music to play. <laughs> nah, these wrestlers out here, they wild man. Respect. It's lit. It sounds like a lot of that shit happens in the fighting world, though. Yeah. Like same with UFC, same with boxing. Like you got terrible managers and whatnot. True. Like, they just like, like uh, I remember there was an instance where like it was a match between Triple H and Booker T at WrestleMania, <laughs> and like the the storyline behind it was just like Triple H was being like like racist towards him, like oh people like you will never be a champion like me, and like it all culminated at WrestleMania, and then they and, like Triple H was like, well you know I don't want to lose, not to this guy, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna beat this black guy. And now they're kind of like revamping that story now to have like Kofi Kingston going up against like Daniel Bryan because like like he's like oh you're a B plus player you know you're not good enough to be the champion like there ain't ain't no way that you could be the champion so you know what I'm gonna beat you shit like that so Vince is trash yeah hella trash well at least that's like the only job where you get to beat up your boss yeah but shout, I get shout out Stone Cold did the niggas ever get in trouble with, like they like they beat him up a little bit too much. I actually, yeah. Really? Uh, um, Brock Lesnar one time after like he won a match, Game like mean F five. Th- no, he threw the belt at at Vince. Like he dead ass threw the belt at Vince, and Vince was like asshole, and then like fined him. I think like a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> like like Brock Lesnar don't got that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> white white dress, white on white crime. <laughs> <laughs> That's all y'all get from me. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> two bottles of mayo going at it. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, God. 
Damn. Um, what's your, the last topic? You said we ain't got no viewer questions, right? I, I got one. Oh, you I, did? Yeah, yeah, I got one about an hour ago. I didn't check. Oh, shit, what's up? It's, uh, it's Mr. Blanks 2020. He's asking... <laughs> He's asking... Uh, if we ever, like... Whenever you become successful, is it, like, a good idea to leave your hometown? Mm. So, like, mm. so like say this podcast, when it eventually, like, blows up and we start... You trying like, to leave City World Radio? You no. trying to leave Scott's Crescent Radio? No. Jay, right there. Snuff him. <laughs> Snuff him, Jay. Get, him. Get this nigga. <laughs> but, 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 you, you, you ain't got the answers. I like how he hit the wrong sound effect at first. I was on the wrong page. There you go. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you. You ain't got the I mean, we don't. Not yet. Can we not? So, yeah. but answer the question. So, leave your hometown. I don't. I. I, I don't see. You I don't broke. see the point in leaving you. Not me. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Thanks. That's how I feel about it. Actually, never mind. That's how he feels about it. Never mind. That's how he feels. Yo, we gonna really get this bingo board popping, and I'm gonna start know. selling it. <laughs> and when Kenneth jumps off mic, we're gonna hit bingo mad early. It's gonna be lit. A bingo board? Yeah, we're gonna have a, like a podcast bingo board. Yeah, wow. I want to like, make so, that. It has wow. to be like twenty four ish things because you have to have the free space. And they're gonna the be like different on each one. So when like, people listen, air to horn, week, boo, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, like just like when there different things go. happen. Like when somebody like mentions Big Red, like that'll be one. When Kenneth like takes himself off mic, that'll be one. Find your button. Yeah, find your button. Okay. Like me playing All an right. inappropriate sound effect, like D'Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You better stop. Hearing tone laugh in the background. Like. <laughs> Hearing tones camera in the yeah, background. Yeah, exactly. Things like that. Tone That'd does the robot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but the last time. Time. <laughs> Bingo. But the last thing I wanted to hit on was um having female friends or friends of the opposite sex while in a relationship. Can't uh, do is it. Is it allowed? Can't what do it. What are the rules? You can't do it. What's up? What's up, man? You can't. You can't have female friends. Can you divulge? No. Why not? Because <laughs> nah. that. that the, <laughs> nah. Can you, nah. Nah. Can't. Nah. Just don't do it, nigga. Nah. The person that you with, that's your best friend already. That's your only female friend. Nigga, they, you, they your not mom here. Your mom can't even be your female. Nigga, friend. they are not here. Yeah, can, he's I'm just speaking yeah, from experience. I am. I'm speaking from experience. That's it. That's literally it. That's how they framed it on you. Yeah. Crazy. That's yeah. Insane. They still talk. Your mom is your friend. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Chill. My, my mommy can't be my best friend. <laughs> mom. That's what you say. My mommy. Yeah. Your mom. Yeah. That's what I call it. My mommy. Yeah. Y'all niggas don't call you my mommy. I call my mom. And I'm mommy. the one with the premiums now. Anyway. What, what, what my mommy got to do? <laughs> Why you being nasty? Listen. Don't put my mommy in this. Listen, That's chill. My mommy. Listen, chill, bro. I'll talk about your mommy. <laughs> you talk about an ice cubes. <laughs> That's I, haven't, I haven't said a word about <laughs> yeah. I haven't even said those words in years. In years, exactly. I don't even drink ice anymore. I don't even Out of respect? <laughs> <laughs> out of respect? Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Mommy Ramsey. Jesus Christ. What? You don't call your mommy mommy? I do. I Not Mommy Ramsey. Mommy. <laughs> you guys have been calling her the wrong last name for years. That's not even a name. It's not even a name. It's not a it just name. it just flow though. Just read. <laughs> That's why I read books. <laughs> But friends in a relationship can have the opposite gender. What about you, Kenneth? You can do it. Just make sure everybody don't get caught. You can do it. (laughs) Just don't get caught. (laughs) You can do it. (laughs) No, that's the wrong answer. That's it. No, that's real. Good for you. I was changing pages. (laughs) Just came. Good for you. But yeah, you said what? You don't get caught. I didn't say that. Oh, I, you say? I was going to. I was going to say make sure everybody knows their boundaries about like the friends that you have. Like if the if these are friends that you've had before the relationship, explain explain that to your significant other. Like, hey, I've known these people for x amount of years. Like they know all this about me, but it's nothing. It's been nothing more than that. And then if it's the opposite, like, hey, I've been in this relationship longer than I've known these friends. I'm gonna establish that boundary like hey you know we're just friends nothing's gonna come of this like whatever there, there shouldn't there shouldn't be any issue with like having friends of the opposite gender like just platonic friends but like people who are insecure about themselves or about the relationship tend to make it an issue for whatever reason I mean it really comes down to the security and the communication in a relationship 
that's what it really comes down to. If you feel like somebody's friendship is threatening the stability of your relationship, then that you should be questioning the relationship that you're in or questioning the level of trust you have within yourself or questioning your partner and how comfortable they make you feel within a relationship. If you feel like they're their actions are not enough to make you feel like, all right, I'm I'm more secure in my relationship. I feel like I can man- maneuver how I, freely without worry. Like, things like that, you know, just, just to think about. I mean, for me personally, I feel like you should be able to have friends within a relationship. It's just about respecting boundaries, you know, and making sure communication amongst your partner. That person should know your partner. That person shouldn't be afraid to hang out with your partner. And you shouldn't also, you should not be afraid to make friends friends female friends or friends of the opposite gender of your partner while in a relationship because if like kenneth said before if you have them like prior to the relationship it shouldn't matter and you also shouldn't be afraid to make friends you know it's just levels of friendship you know there's boundaries there's lanes it's like yeah we hang out we talk i see them here or there and they're just that friend you know, we don't talk every day, but, you know, it's just cool. It's not like, yo, this is my female friend. We got to hang out every every other day. and We out here doing stuff. You can't come. Like, yeah. it's, that's wild. <laughs> but things like that, you know, just it common sense to me. <laughs> but, you know, to others it may not be. So, like I said, make sure you communicate with your partner and you have that trust and, you know, stability within your relationship. There you go. Anything else? Uh. I I want to I want to bring up a topic for next week. Um, cool. So, uh, thoughts on having like that person you've had a one night stand with still on your social media? Like, if it's okay, if it's not okay, your thoughts on that? Content king, bro. All that's right. a good fucking topic. Cool. I can't wait to come back here next week. There you go. Can't wait to time travel. If Thanos don't take me away. <laughs> we'll be here. We'll be here. So don't turn that page, guys. But that's all we don't have. Don't close the book yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Our, our chapter isn't finished. You got any more book puns, guy? Keep reading. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right, guys. That's fucking all we have for you guys this week. So once again, shout out to Jay. Shout out to Tone. Shout out to Scott, City World Radio. Shout out to Scott's Crescent Radio. Until then, guys, we will see you next week. Can we not week. pod on Instagram? Yeah, follow us. Bye. Peace. <laughs> Recipe Snipsy. Thank <laughs> you.